Hey everybody, I'm Maxi from Utomeno Timing and today I'm going to attempt a kind of different video because as you know we are currently struggling from COVID-19 virus in Germany so um, everything's closed except for like system relevant shops, uh, supermarkets, pharmacies, stuff like that. So it's a bit complicated to come up with videos. Um, what I'm going to do is all I'm going to eat for the next three days is supermarket ready food, food that is ready and prepared and in the Kürigal. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to translate that somewhere here. I don't know why essentially, but I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> the the ready-made food in Germany in supermarkets is not the best actually, so I'm not all that excited. But maybe you are interested in what it's like to eat in uh, in Germany or what you can get in supermarkets. Maybe you want to come to. Uh, Germany wants it's allowed to travel again, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're gonna go to the supermarket and get a bit of uh, food for the next three days and yeah, let's see whether I like it or not. I really can't talk too loud because uh, I don't, I, I don't want to like get kicked out. So I need three meals and like two snacks a day. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so I just went and got my first day of eating um, and it amounts to like 14.55 uh, which for a full day of eating it's not the best, it's also not the most expensive so I would have paid a lot more if I would have went and ate at a restaurant. <laughs> I got me some breakfast and lunch and dinner and two healthy snacks because I'm trying to be healthy um, at the same time. What I've realized, however, is that I didn't get any carbs except for the bread in the morning. So that might be a problem because um, I'm a carb-loving person, if you couldn't tell before. I just realized that I had to come up with a few more rules except for it would have to be ready-made food from the supermarket because that includes a lot actually. Food that does not come from the freezer, so no pizza that does not come from like <laughs> carton packages, you know what I mean? Like these single person food kind of things, but it has to be from the supermarket brand and it has to be like basically ready to eat food, which maybe only needs some reheating. And it has to be like a proper meal. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, my lovelies. It's the one of the only eating ready-made supermarket branded food. It's like 11. Push breakfast back a bit because I forgot to buy some actual filling carby foods yesterday. So yeah, but it's time for breakfast now. It's 11. I've got my coffee here and I'm really hungry. I'm actually not a big fan of these pre-packed sandwiches, but maybe those are good. I didn't have those before. It's called chicken cheese. Also, I got myself a plate because there's no reason to let go of etiquette even during social distancing times. My sandwich, my breakfast sandwich with my coffee. Yay. And actually it doesn't look as that bad. It has fresh tomatoes and some lettuce. Mm, it's not bad actually. Also, what I feel I should say is that the coffee in here was not bought from the supermarket brand and I didn't buy any drinks either, it's just about the food. I do not want to miss my coffee because even if it's corona times, even if it's social distancing times, there's no need to be barbaric, you know? And there's really nothing a lot I can say here. I mean, it's a sandwich and this is not a mukbang video, so I'm gonna edit here. Do you guys hoard? Are you one of those people who hoard toilet paper? I'm not. N none of us is. Are you? <laughs> I really want to know. Can you explain to me why toilet paper exactly? Because I feel like no one has an answer to that question. Everybody understands like the hoarding of food and stuff, but why the toilet paper? Like seriously, how how much do you need in a week? I don't get it. Let's talk about that later. See you at lunch. Okay, it's around 1 a.m. p.m. and I'm having my first snack, which is uh, a melon mix. And I'm working on editing the new video for Saturday and I'm also having another coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm back. It's lunch time. It's about uh, half past two and I'm hungry, which I guess is going to be the situation for the rest of the day. So for lunch I'm having a salad. Yeah, 
really fuck up salad, can you? So that's pretty easy choice. I can't eat salad for three days. I mean, I don't look like I look because I eat a lot of salad, right? So yeah, that's a Greek salad. I mean, at least it's a big portion, but also it's mainly lettuce. Nothing really too exciting here. No great story ever starts with a salad. Oh, I can now see that I'm way... <laughs> that's just my boobs. Okay, so here's my food. At least it's a really big bowl, right? Is it though? I'm not sure. What is a big bowl of salad? I feel it's big. See you at dinner! It's half past four and I'm feeling really snackish. I've got some work here. And all I got is carrots. It's finally dinner time and I'm so hungry. For dinner I have these stuffed mushrooms and I hope they're good. Heat those up and then eat them and thank god there's a lot. Who are we kidding? I'm going to eat them all. Yes. Okay, here we go. A bunch of stuffed mushrooms. We're not going to eat this together because I think I want to eat this in front of the TV. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I live alone and sometimes I just want other people to talk. And that sounded really sad. Oh my god. Yeah, let's take the first bite together here. I was really hoping there was something more in it than cheese. And okay. Mm. I was kind of hoping that there was something hidden inside and it's not, it's just the stem which they've chopped up and put back in there so it's just cheese and like some cream sauce and more mushrooms but it's still good this is way too there we go much better it's a good meal and i'm going to eat that all and probably go to bed early funny enough i do not have a problem to sleep hungry that i can okay see you tomorrow good morning everyone it's the second day um, of social distancing, supermarket, fresh fruit, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still not sure about the title of this video because I still don't know how to properly describe the food that I'm buying, but I think I came up with an idea which is called, it's like fresh fruit, it's not ready-made food, but there's, there's prepared fresh fruit in supermarkets. It's half past eight. I've been up for like three hours because I simply couldn't sleep. I do not have a problem to sleep hungry. And by now, I'm really hungry. At first, I couldn't get anything because of course, um, supermarkets aren't open at five. I think that a lot of elderly people go out early to buy their food and I wanted to give them a bit more room. But now I'm really hungry, now I gotta go get something. But that social stay at home kind of thing has the advantage that no one's around you. Look at me staring at me like I'm crazy talking to myself. And, oh, oh wow. Hello, light. Hello. Oh, halo effect. Much better. So, you might not be able to tell, but it's really cold. It's really cold. Uh. Hello, welcome back. And I'm back in my granny sweater and uh, my sweatpants because. Uh, what is there to prove, really? I mean, we're all stuck at home. Why, like, hang out in jeans? I spent 14 47 uh, So if you're thinking about coming to Germany and you don't have the money for restaurants, but you don't wanna eat junk food either, and you're thinking like maybe you could get around eating like supermarket food like a lot of people do. I know I do that when I'm abroad and I can't afford eating at a restaurant every, every meal. I'm not really sure whether I shop better today. Um, I got a variety of things here. Uh, so what did I get myself for breakfast? I have some some hash browns here and then for lunch I have some curry couscous and then I guess this is going to be a snack day. I got a lot of snacks but yeah let's get started with the breakfast and heat up those hash browns. Breakfast. Ooh. I made breakfast, uh, I made three of the hash browns and I got myself uh, some some quark, which is not yogurt, it's not sour cream either, it's like something in between and some fruit and I'm probably going to eat half of both with my hash browns. Also I'm starting to worry about my environmental footprint here because everything is packed in plastic and they say it's 85% recycled but still, mm, but these are good. This yogurt thing, which I can't open right now, and maybe this will be good together. Let's see whether that's good. That's actually quite okay, and suddenly this all feels a lot less sad. It's lunchtime, and I'm going to have couscous and the second half of my fruit cup. Alright, 
it's uh, 3 30 in the afternoon but for now I still have like half of my yogurt also I've been snacking on these cheese chips like I think they're supposed to be like protein chips or whatever but they're really weird so far I'm doing pretty good today I feel uh, I had a lot of fruit and the couscous was good as well and had lots of veggies actually and I still have the baby carrots all right it is dinner time and here's what I've got left of the day I've got two, two more hash browns I got like a half a bag of cheese crackers cheese dips I got the entire package of cold coleslaw and I got the package of baby carrots so I'm probably going to eat all of that Currently my plan is to eat the hash browns and the crackers, even though they're pretty salty, they're really salty. A bit of the coleslaw and a bit of the baby carrots to get like more veggies in. And I feel like this has a lot of calories and I don't really want that right now. <laughs> so that is the plan for the rest of the evening. I'm really tired, I've been awake for way too long now. <laughs> um, Take the makeup off, take the bra off, get into full Coachella mode basically and do not worry about getting on camera again today. See you tomorrow! Alright, so today is the last day. After I didn't sleep the night before, I actually slept like 10 years last night. The weather is really nice, it's a lot better, a lot warmer today. Um, and since I slept so long, uh, I skipped breakfast, which is weird because it's so <laughs> uh, yeah, that guy just talked to me really, really. <laughs> it's a bit weird because I said I wouldn't skip breakfast, but I'm doing it anyways because it's half past 12. And I'm really hungry and I'm gonna get lunch and I'm gonna get dinner and I hope no one talks to me ever again. Alright, I just came back from shopping for today. Um, and here's the thing we all know what happens when you shop on an empty stomach, right? And yeah. It got me to, that is a uh, whole, oh, you can't even see that. That is a lot of money. Granted, I bought some things that aren't for today, so that made it a bit more expensive. But still, I'm watching what I've got and I feel like that I bought too much considering the fact that I still have something left from yesterday. So I have this humongous pack of watermelon. I have some wraps for lunch, uh, some guacamole and I remember I wanted that yesterday like I wanted guacamole I just don't remember why and now I have this pack of guacamole and nothing to eat it with maybe my wraps some bulgur salad that I probably won't even finish because it's a lot and some red cabbage salad and now it's lunchtime my wraps with my guacamole and the snacks that I have left from, from yesterday and yes and also I'm so glad that this is the last day because I can financially afford this anymore maybe if I ever do a video like this ever again, then I'm going to be like, eat for not more than 250 a day or something like, like that. I mean, my, my, my bank account would really thank me. Roasted chicken wrap. Gotta eat less animal products for the next few days. So here's my wrap. Here's lunch. I have the rest of my coleslaw, my baby carrots, my two chicken wraps and my guacamole. It's not the worst lunch actually, I've had worse before, I've had worse in that week actually, I feel. There's a lot of garlic in this guac, but that's not the worst thing. Mm-hmm. But guacamole makes it better. This is the last meal of this video. I'm pretty sure everybody's sick of seeing me. I've been eating my watermelon for the day. Mmm. Dinner, I have this bulgur salad, which was pretty expensive. This red cabbage salad, and I already prepared both doesn't look too appealing at all. So this is really good. But then again, I'm German and I love me some cabbage. Okay, bulgur. Okay. Oh, 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 wow, it's spicy. It's spicy. Okay, that's that for this video. My three trips to the supermarket were my only trips outside this week because as you know, social distancing and shops, etc. will, will be closed until the mid of April for now. We don't know. We don't know. They might prolong in the measures, who knows. These thingies from the supermarket, they're not bad. They're a bit pricey, but then again, I guess I paid as much because I was always buying for the entire day. Uh, instead of just going in and get something for the meal itself, I'm pretty sure then you pay a lot less. 
Also, you can still eat kind of healthily if you're too bored to cook, but also don't want frozen food. But yeah, if you wanna, if you like this video, please let me know. And this video is actually kind of an experiment, which I was, I don't wanna say forced to do, but we had to come up with something, right, during social isolation. If you have other suggestions or ideas of what kind of videos we could make, please leave a comment. We'll read all of them. See you next week's video. Bye. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Write a comment. Please write a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell. And don't forget sharing is caring. See you next week. Bye.